Did read. I'm out of her. She. When I saw that video of her, I just felt like I was just get, gonna explode. And she's been doing this for so long. So. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a video that came the other day. Yes, but someone could have reported long ago that she was doing this for so long. She's racist and. It, that just makes me so mad. Me and my people, we don't have our rights still. We've been fighting for it. I always feel so sad. I don't like how you, people are treating us. They treat us bad, they bully us. And nothing has happened for so long. Me and my mind, I just say, it's, we've been treated so badly for so, so long. You can change things. You have the power to change it. And we still, you still haven't changed us to get rights as other people can have it. People have bigger privileges. And my native people and me don't have it. It just makes me so sad. I just want me and my people to have rights. We've, we've been pro protesting, going to meetings, talking out loud, and nothing has happened. And I want, and we should all have masks in here too. <laughs> Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, glory, and honor be unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha HaKodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Citations to the hopefully elect out there pushing this word of truth, sincerity, and indeed. It's your brother Kapatazai from the great millstone Chicago branch. Coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. And as you can see, the young native girl, all right, which the Native Americans, okay, you either of the tribe of Gad or the tribe of Reuben, you consist of the 12 tribes of Israel. Okay? Yes, you. And as you can see, she's sighing and crying because of, you know, the actions of this, this Edomite school teacher. Uh, as you can see here, you know, she was taunting and making fun of so-called natives in a geometry class. And she was really just shitting on them, shitting on their culture, you know, the things that they, uh, the things that they used to do way back, you know, be it the rain dances or this, that, and the third, you know, which is really going off you know, this is what happens when you deviate from the laws and statutes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You get shitted on by your enemies, really. All right. When the Most High turns his back on us, this is why we're in the predicament that we're in. This is why to this day, 2021, getting ready to be 2022, you have these same Edomites stripping you of your humanity, all right? They don't consider you. You're nothing to them. You're, you're a joke. You're somebody to mock, you see? And, you know, as the little girl was saying, you know, we've been marching. We've been saying it nice. We've been doing all this, and nothing's changed. They're still just as much disenfranchised as they were years ago. And that's because your enemies rule over you. Okay? It tells you in Leviticus, the 26th chapter. All right? If you, if you deviate, matter of fact, I'll get it. I'll come back to that. This is Leviticus 26. And let's see.
right. Uh, okay. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to find out exactly where it's at. Basically, they that hate you shall reign over you. Uh, hold on one second. I know it's in there. 17, Kai. This is the book of Leviticus 26 and 17. It says, and I will set my face against you. And this is, this is the curses that come with disobedience. So Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai said, and I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. It says, they that hate you shall reign over you. You see that? They that hate you shall reign over you, meaning they will rule over you, and ye shall flee when none pursueth you. Okay? And this is the, this is where we're at. The ones that hate you, they, they rule over you. They're in charge of your school. They're in charge of your media. They're in charge of your economy. Okay? And what? They put you at disadvantage. They mock you. They scorn you. And no matter how nice you are, no matter how nice you ask them to not do it, it's going to fall upon deaf, deaf ears. Because they, they, they see you as less than beneath them. Basic civil behavior you're not deserving of. This is how this devil has always been. All right. And as you can see, the little girl, she's crying, you know, because she, she, she feels that rage in her. She's very much upset. Because nothing, nothing gets done. She sees how these Edomites are living and, you know, I don't know her situation, but a lot of natives, they live on what's called reses or, or reservations. Uh, they're, they're completely economically disenfranchised on their own damn land. And these, these, these crimes have not been remedied. And they won't be remedied. Uh, the U.S. government is not going to right that wrong. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai is going to right that wrong. That's what two thirds of our people do not understand. Whether you be Gadite, Reubenite, so called natives, whether you be the uh, so called Mexicans, Iskarites, Ephraim, Puerto Ricans, all the way to you Negroes, all right, Judah, Benjamin. Okay, the, the, those that are in the islands that got did hella dirty by, by England, by the crown. No amount of diplomacy is going to right those wrongs. It's going to take a divine intervention and, and solution to right that. All right. That's why the Lord said this. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter two, verse one. Gather yourselves together. Yeah, gather together, O nation not desired. Okay, and who's that nation not desired? You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and natives. You are that nation not desired. Okay? So what? We have to gather together not to march, not to vote. We're gathering together in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in the word, that we may chant Babylon down. That we hasten the coming of Yahweh Shai, our Lord, our King of Kings. That's the only way that you're going to have retribution. Okay? That's the only way. You're not going to get it by taking up arms and, and, and we demand this and we demand that. No, nah, you're speaking his language. You see? All right. Demanding and, and, and trying to take matters into your own hands carnally. That's how Esau got America, because the Lord was with him to do that. Due to our disobedience. OK, this is not our way. Our way is through the spirit. OK. Our way is through repentance and obedience to Yahweh Shai. That's how we 
triumph over our enemies. This is uh, Psalms chapter 44, verse 8. In the Most High, we boast all the day long and praise thy name forever. Salah. Ooh. Salah. Here. Verse 9. But thou hast cast off and put us to shame and goest not forth with our armies. You see that? Thou makest us to turn back from the enemy and they which hate us spoiled. They which hate us spoil for themselves. OK, this is American history. OK. Our father turned his face from us. He took his grace and his strength from us. Which allowed this devil's troop to overcome. Pursuing back to uh, Genesis, the 40, I want to say the 49th chapter. OK. Specifically talking about Gad, you so-called Native Americans. You are the Gadites of the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Okay? It says, thou hast given us like sheep appointed for meat and has scattered us among the heathen. Ooh, that's a cut for you New Testament people, you, you Gentiles or everybody. No, the scattered, the scattered of the children of Israel amongst the heathen. Okay, verse 13, thou makest us, thou makest us a reproach to our neighbors, a scorn and a derision to them that are round about us. All right, so we're, we're, we're a reproach, we're a laughing stock. Okay, verse 14, thou makest us a byword among the heathen, a shaking of the head among the people. All right, so we're, we've, we've been completely cast down, man. Okay. All right. We've been put into our lowest estate. We've been put into like the elder Yashua Wamba out of Dallas says uh, remnant saved 144. We've been put into the worst case scenario. OK. And it hurts. It's infuriating. We don't like it. OK. But the only remedy for that is repentance and obedience to the heavenly father. Reconciliation to our commonwealth. OK. He is our only way out. Because clearly everything else just ain't worked. <laughs> OK. So this is what the Lord did to us, man. But it, hey, it's all good, man, because shit, there, there is a lifting up again. All right. Let me get that. There is a lifting up. And Lord hears this. All right. The Lord is going to appoint salvation to his, to his elect. This is the book of Job, chapter 22, verse 29. When men are cast down, then thou shalt say there is lifting up and he shall save the humble person. OK, he shall deliver the island of the innocent and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. OK, so the most high, he's going to save us, man. He's going to bring all manner of judgment against this devil from the taunting to the murder okay this devil is gonna get it all right you edomites they will have their day in judgment okay and the righteous are gonna see it okay as it is written uh only with thine eyes shall you be behold i might as well get that and end it this is the book of psalms 91 This is the book of Psalms 91, verse 8. Only with thine eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made Yahweh, which is my refuge, even the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come near thy dwelling. Okay? So that's what we're getting ready to see, that this devil is finished, man. All right? They're at their last leg, so they can laugh and taunt. They can do all the shit they want. The Lord's ears are not uh, straightened to where he doesn't hear the cries of his people, okay? Because the elect of the nation are putting in that work and crying out to the Lord. And hey, the, the prayers of the elect is piercing the clouds, man. So, hey, this devil is through. So uh, with that, I hope this was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakodash, Shalom, and the Baba Ball.